Hi everyone, this is going to be a review of the LED Lenser SE07R head torch. Now what I'll do is before I go into review, I'll go through some of the um, technical blurb and get that out of the way. This torch is rated at uh, 220 lumens, which is the main LED, which is just here, that main bulb there. And we have a small red LED just here that's rated at 20 lumens. So that's the lumens out of the way. The beam distance is 130 meters for the main lens, main LED, and the beam distance for the small red LED is 40 meters. Burn time, 5 hours on the white LED and 20 hours for the red LED. It has um, one on and off button just on the top there. IPX rated of IPX6 which is waterproof. Um, pretty good, obviously you need a waterproof torch when you're outside in any situation. And it's got an advanced focus system which is a, a ring on the top just here. You can sort of turn that ring for focus and spot beam, which I'll go through later on. Um, so very, very useful. I mean, I've had this torch for a couple of months, and I find this feature on it very easy to use. It's very quick, no fussing around. You can easily adjust the beam. So yeah, very, very handy. And it's got a very good heat sink, um, which is very important when you've got a torch with a high-powered LED. Uh, you need a good heat sink to actually keep the LED cool and give you optimum performance. So that's some of the features, sort of kind of technical um, things out of the way. It comes with a charger, rechargeable battery pack, which is rated at, let's have a quick look here, 3.7 volts, uh, 3.256 watts an hour. So equivalent to 3.7 volts, so you're looking at three AAA batteries. Talking of AAA batteries, you have the advantage of being able to take out this little rechargeable pack that it comes with and actually use three AAA batteries. So very flexible when you're out and about. If you run out the battery, rechargeable battery, you can standard, common, available everywhere, whack in some AAAs and you're good to go. So um, that's very, very useful. Some torches obviously come with rechargeable batteries, but you can't use normal batteries. So top marks for LED lenser flexibility. Comes with a uh, micro USB cable. This cable is a little bit longer than the actual cable you'll get because it's my own cable. So what I'll do is I'll actually show you the torch itself. Um, very, very comfortable head strap here. Torch is very lightweight and I think I've got this written down somewhere um, it's actually, let me have a quick look, it's only 93 grams, grams so 3.2 um, ounces approximately so very lightweight um, and as I said I've had it for several months and you can hardly feel it on your head um, it, you know, you can't even tell it's there so super awesome uh, very well made, high quality plastic um, I've not had no problems, I've used it so sort of out and about, I've used it for several sort of trips and sort of threw it in the back of my bag. You know, it's been out in the rough. Uh, I've had no problems um, with compartment opening, so sort of any issues with batteries falling out or any clips that have been broken or anything like that. So it's lasted okay. Head straps fully washable, uh, removable, and it also comes with a carabiner clip. So very handy if you want to hook it somewhere in your bag outside. Um, so yeah, so small things to count, but um, very very useful. So if I pull the head strap forward, you have a small little clip on the top here. So if you push that forward, you can pop the battery pack open. Compartment, sorry, shall I say open. So in here, three AAA batteries. And you've also got the option, obviously it comes with a rechargeable battery pack. And a battery pack slots straight in there, like so. So close that, ready to go. Um, so super easy to use, um, no hassle. Um, strap as I said is very comfortable um, 
and I've had no issues with it sort of sliding off my head, any problems, any discomfort. Um, very comfortable hair. Um, I've worn it without a hat. I've had no problems whatsoever. Um, right, now what I'm going to do is cycle through some of the modes in the torch. Um, as I mentioned, it's 220 lumens, uh, which is very, very bright. Um, I've used this. Um, I was out in the Breckens um, and I've um, used it in Epping Forest, local to me. Um, and it's very, very bright. I mean, people talk about lumens and sort of talk about sort of thousand lumens, two thousand lumens. But at the end of the day, um, you want a head torch which is going to last um, a couple of hours in the battery. So, um, for how light it is and the um, battery options that you have. 220 lumens is very powerful, um, and it's I've I've had I've never had the need to sort of have more light um, and think oh my god you know this is not powerful enough I can't see so 100 meters 130 meters is plenty powerful so I'll cycle through some of the modes so if you press it once goes to high power press it again goes off so press it again um, and press it again slightly lower press it again the third time off so once again on two slightly low third time again and fourth time goes into strobe um, so that's the kind of modes that you can cycle through with the button on top so if you press that again goes off lead lenser for the quite for the last few years I've integrated OptiSense technology into their torches and our previous review that I've done I spoke about OptiSense OptiSense basically there's a light sensor at the front of the torch just there that measures the incoming light and that will automatically sort of dim the power to the bulb if your surrounding light is sufficient and it feels the torch is obviously programmed to detect that so you save battery life a very good feature so to use OptiSense you press it once and then quickly twice again and it goes into OptiSense now that again is very good for power management but you still find it will drain a lot of battery if you use it on OptiSense because uh, even though the sensor is good you're still using a lot of power so I find I like to go manual sometimes so I just turn that off and then either sort of go up and sort of come down again and just go off really um, I'll cycle through it manually um, if you cycle it through it manually and sort of have it on half power I've had three AAA batteries in here which sort of have lasted me sort of seven eight hours and that's been fantastic You've also got a red LED on the bottom just here. That's very good for um, reading maps um, and it's anti-glare. Um, people also use it for fishing. So um, very good to have that. Um, let me try to demonstrate that once, twice. And I think if you hold the button down for a few seconds, um, let me try going into that mode again. So hold it down. Oh, here we are, it's just come on. So you've got the red LED there, so it's twice and hold it down and it comes on. So if I press it again, the LED goes off and press it again, comes on. And I think if I hold it down for another two seconds, you go into um, the flash mode and the red LED as well. So as I said, very good for reading maps um, when you want no glare or good for fishing. So very, very useful and a nice little addition to have here. You've also got a very nifty little feature here which allows you to rotate the head backwards and forwards here on a little pivot so you can actually angle the light where you want um, and it works really well. Um, so you know you've got quite a lot of flexibility here so one, two, three, four, I think there's several, seven slotch, uh, yeah about seven, eight little fine adjustments you can do sort of kind of bring that forward and backwards um, so yeah again very good um, as I said I've I've had this for a few months now um, used it several times it's been great outdoors um, and it's um, th a lot of people would say this head torch is probably between 50 to 70 pound yes it's quite expensive but it's not just the lumens or the build quality of the torch itself it's about the lens and the glass used and the focus system, everything on the torch, which is help, going to help deliver that light and that clarity of that light. 
So yes, you've got a powerful head torch, you've got a very well made head torch, but you've also got it backed up with some really good glass and sort of optics at the front here, um, which is, you know, the key to deliver good light. Um, so there's no point in getting a really cheap head torch, uh, which has got a really high lumens output. You know, you've got, it ticks every numbers, but at the end of the day, um, you know, in real life situation, is that light usable? Is it good quality light? Um, you know, again, it's, the optics are very, very important. Right, so I'll go through the actual focus and spot beam on here for you. So if I turn it on once, actually, I need to go out of that mode. I think if I hold it down twice, here we are. So I've come out the mode for the red LED. So what we have here is, if I turn that ring, you can kind of see, and uh, you can increase wide beam, focus, and it's very, very easy to do that. Um, I've had, I find this a very, very useful feature, and I often use this, especially if I'm going uphill, when I'm going, sort of coming down a hill, um, uh, you know, if you're out on the trail, you know, you sometimes you need to often adjust the light to kind of see where you're going, you know, suddenly you come into woods and there's a big clearing, and you want a wide beam, very, very quick, easy to do, no fussing around, just quickly do that, and you're there. So I would say to, to conclude, um, I'd give this torch um, a very, very high rating, personally. Um, it's probably my go-to torch if I'm out trekking. Um, I previously reviewed the LED Lenser XCO 19R. Uh, that's um, overkill. For your average, you know, requirements, if you're out and about, you, you don't need that. that. That's overkill. I only need that if I need a very, very high-powered head torch. This is my uh, sort of daily driver or, or sort of, you know, go-to torch, should I say, whenever I'm out and about, sort of trekking. Uh, it stays in my bag. Um, I literally sort of, wherever I am, wherever my trek bag goes, this is in there. It's never let me down. It's no fuss, no hassle. Uh, I've got an option of rechargeable battery. I keep a couple of sort of AAA batteries in my bag. It's never let me down. Ready to go. Easy to adjust. Plenty of light options for OptiSense, etc. Um, retails around about sixty to eighty pound at the moment. Um, very good value for money. Backed up by LED lenses. You know, good customer support in the UK. One year warranty. Um, really, um, I'd recommend this without any hesitation. Um, and if you're in the market for a sort of, um, sort of um, a medium priced head torch, I would look no further. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching.